Hey there, welcome back. This is Atul from Team K Tonin Academy, and in this fifth and final part of this Kubernetes or installing managed Kubernetes on AWS Cloud, which is EKS. And in this part, finally, we will clean up or delete all the resources so that we don't get charged for that. And as I said, we will, as I said in the previous video as well, that we will delete the master and worker node or control plane and data plane, but we'll not delete this EKCTL which we configured or Kubernetes client machine, uh, EC2 machine that we used to install kubectl and, uh, and EKCTL because we are going to use that in another uh, lab which is about you doing the same thing but from a CLI command line interface. So in order to delete this EKS cluster, what we need to do is we need to first go to, before you can delete the master node, you have to delete the worker node or, or node groups. So I'm going to go onto the EKS cluster and search, select my cluster that I want to delete. And if I try, if you go and try to delete the cluster, it will say that, hey, you need to give the name of the cluster. It will fail, EKS01. It will fail saying that, hey, node group are attached. So we need to delete the node groups first. So we'll come here. These are two machines that I have in that node group. So I'll select the node group and say delete. And then I'll need to give the name of the group, uh, node group name. So group 01, click or delete. And this will take around probably around 10-15 uh, minutes. Uh, so come and refresh this screen here. And uh, so it's saying deleting. And once this deletion completes, then only we'll go and can delete and the master nodes. So once this is delete, I'll let you know the next part. So once delete is done, probably 10-15 minutes, we'll delete the master node. Uh, in the meantime, yeah. And then finally, I'll show you how much did it cost. So once this master node is deleted, then we'll delete the, these IAM roles. So if you refresh here and it's saying deleting, these two machines will go down. So let's go to EC2 and see what's happening with EC2s now. So those two EC2s, the worker nodes will be marked for deletion here. So it's saying shutting down. So I'll pause this, come back after 15 minutes, and then we'll see these are gone. So while we wait, I would like to invite you for a approximately two hours free class talking about Kubernetes containers and Docker, including certification. So if you are a complete beginner or already working on Kubernetes but not certified or, or looking for getting a higher paid job, register for this free class where I'm doing and bringing a Kubernetes expert to talk about Kubernetes 21 step roadmap check out by going to k20academy.com forward slash k8s02 we'll be giving a demo hands-on lab that you must perform also how to get certified on as an administrator developer architect or security professional there'll be also question answers you can post your questions there as well so select the date and time convenient to you and your name email address and a phone number optionally a phone number and click on yes save my seat you'll get an email with access to this free class with that this is atul let's get back onto the video now so after around 10 minutes or so i refresh this button here and then it says that it's at kubernetes cluster is active but if you see nodes are gone to zero and node group is also zero so those both are gone here so once this is done i'm ready to i'm all good to delete the the master node as well so i'll say click on delete cluster that will delete the cluster name of the cluster which i created k21 eks01 and click on delete so that refresh here it will delete that or it will say deleting in the meantime one more thing i need to do is i need to go and delete the roles as well so i'll go identity and access management i'll search for eks i think i created four roles so there should be four instead of three there should be four maybe we'll update the guide as well so if i go under iam click on roles eks and these are the four roles that got created um, like 37 minutes 20 minutes 19 minutes this eks cluster role was added earlier so these four nodes four roles that i created today and we'll say delete the roles and we'll type the word delete now also have the policy now you should not be deleting that here policy i'm going to delete it because i've already shown you that's why i delete it and it'll create again the security credential that i that you see here so i had two key keys so the one which i created four hours ago i'll delete it because then or you should not delete it because uh, we want to have this ec2 i'm going to remove it and create it again because i've showed you and that will give anyone full access to this uh this this my account so which i don't want uh, so 
you you should not delete it you should simply then leave it like that and then go and ec2 and but make sure you stop the ec2 instance because later in another uh, labs we are going to create a using uh, the same cluster but this time we are going to use command line interface that time i'm going to use this ec2 so i'll select this ec2 and shut it down and as i said in future we'll be setting up this using ekctl that time i'll show it to you this i'll be running this ekctl from the ec2 instance that i've created click on this instances here now it shows four terminated these, these will be cleaned later so if if they will here don't worry especially the terminator one after a day or two these will be cleaned as well so i'll select this ec2 instance that i created and instance state and then stop the instance when i stop the instance i don't get charged for maximum costing is for cpu and memory which when i shut it down i'm not using any of them uh, so i'll not get charged there's a slight amount for storage but that storage i because i get 25 gb free and i've created the storage under 25 gb so i'm good on this that's pretty much if you have come so far tell me go and then screenshot and then say hey in the in our community which is either telegram mention that you have you've cleaned these uh, databases or oh, sorry this eks share the screenshot of the cleanup so i know that you have worked on this and this completes all the five parts so and in the so just to do a quick recap in first part i give you overview about lab part one i give you the overview about this uh, whole pro, uh, whole lab then in part two we created a master node or we call control plane using graphical user interface then part three we installed a ec2 or we created an ec2 machine and deployed kubectl and ekctl configured aws cli and configured my kubectl configuration i had an error that was because of the ekctl version or sorry kubectl version on higher 1.24 that i reduced to 1.23 and it worked then the next part was about creating a worker node on the previous uh, uh, part and in this part we cleaned up everything now in future episodes we are going to do our future videos we are going to do a lot of interesting labs things like creating the same thing from command line interface so in future we'll always use command line now because it's quicker it's it creates and we just one one command or two commands and then we'll do things like deploying applications configuring uh, ingress controllers storage persistent volumes upgrades and a lot more coming so keep an eye and keep learning and tell me your experience so far uh, the more i hear from you the more it inspires me to do these uh, more and more labs with that this is atul from team k academy i'll see you in another lab